Hey everyone, welcome back. So today is finally the day we get to put these two fuzz pedals up against each other. We've got the Chat GPT fuzz that was designed by, by Chat GPT. We've got the Google's Bard AI fuzz that um, Bard designed. A few weeks ago I made a couple of videos uh, where I got Chatbot or ChatGPT and Bard to design original fuzz circuits and then I built those circuits into real pedals and we tested them out and it was really surprising how amazing they sounded. Today's the day where they're going to be versing each other in a whole bunch of fairly structured tests and I really would love to see what you guys think down in the comments. Who do you think was the, the greatest sounding fuzz? Right, we're gonna crack into these tests now, but before we do, please hit that subscribe button. I've got a lot of videos coming out, some really cool ideas, don't miss them. The first test we're gonna do is the 12 o'clock test, so all knobs at noon, let's have a listen. We're gonna be uh, doing the chatbot fuzz first, followed by Google's Bard AI fuzz. <laughs> Right, so the next test is the full fuzz test. So I've set the fuzz on each one to full and I've tweaked the tone to taste and the output as well. Let's have a listen. Next is the lowest usable setting. I've dialed the fuzz right down as low as we can, sort of tweak the tone again and the output just to get a sort of a balanced output level. Next is my, by far my favorite test. It's the fuzz on full, tone sort of tweaked again to taste and rolling back the volume on the guitar. It gives probably one of the sweetest, tastiest overdrive tones you can get.
a little bit of a break now from the audio stuff. I am now gonna put these through my little handheld oscilloscope and gonna test the output level of each fuzz. So running a just under half a volt into each pedal and then we're gonna be measuring the output. And as you can see, the chatbot fuzz has a heck of a lot of output, probably almost double that from the, uh, the Bard AI fuzz. The other thing that's interesting too is the waveform shape. So you can sort of see with the chatbot fuzz here, the waveform shape is quite rounded. Well, the Bard fuzz has got a sharper, more sort of aggressive looking waveform. Okay, everyone, who do you think won the battle? Um, I actually thought it was going to be an absolute landslide for one of these pedals, which was the chatbot fuzz. I really loved that when I first created it, and I just felt like it had the best feel of the two. But now doing a side-by-side -side comparison like that, I'm not actually that sure. There's definitely great things about Google's Bard AI fuzz, but the, the chatbot one still has a nicer, more organic sort of feel, how it compresses when you dig in. The dynamics from clean to dirty are a lot nicer and sort of more gradual as you're playing. It's it's the stuff that you can't really hear through a video like this. It's, you have to play it and feel it. The Bard fuzz uh, was had a huge gain range. It had heaps of saturation and the top end was quite crisp. I quite liked the detail on the top end. I suppose it didn't have as much variation on the fuzz control. So as you wound it around, it went from, it was more like a sustain style control, I suppose, if anything. As you wound it around, it went from sort of fairly fuzzy to like pretty full on levels of fuzz. But yeah, great fuzz though, absolutely great fuzz. I really underestimated this one for sure. So if I take everything into account, um, the, the design aspect of them, working with Bard and working with ChatGPT, I, my favorite overall would definitely be the chatbot fuzz. ChatGPT was so much nicer and easier to work with than Bard. That was just hard work working with this guy. And the fuzz overall just has a nicer feel. It's, um, in a, it's a little bit warmer and sort of more natural, I suppose. But um, it's really, really close for me personally. But I'd love to see what you think down in the comments. As always, please subscribe. Got some cool stuff coming up. And we'll catch you on the next video.